Last time on Total Drama Random Island, merge has begun, meaning every camper is competing for individual immunity. Not only that, but Eva and Lorenzo return to the game. In the challenge, campers were tasked with going through physical and mental torment. Eventually, Sammy chickened out, letting Eva get immunity. At elimination, it was close, but Kitty got blindsided for being aligned with Dwayne, and Lorenzo was able to save Millie from death. How nice of him, but nothing can save her from today's challenge. Eva is weightlifting, and Pete says that back in his prime, he could lift twice that much. Eva says to go ahead and try it then, and Pete says if he heard her, he said back in his prime. Eva says that's what she thought. Pete asks why she's being like that, and Eva says she's not here to make friends, she's here to win. Pete says that it's going to be a long few weeks without anyone to talk to then, and Eva says she likes it that way. Pete says that he was a lot like her, but if you don't stop to smell the roses at some point, you'll look back and realize you missed out on everything you could have experienced. Eva says she doesn't care about whatever philosophical message he's sending, and Pete says yeah, she's right. Who wants to hear an old man like him babble? Eva says that he's disturbed her already, might as well continue. Pete in confessional says that something about Dwayne and Kitty's relationship got him thinking about what he left in the world, and he realized he doesn't have anything outside of the game to look forward to. He's seeing a lot of himself in Eva, she's so hell-bent on winning she's gonna miss out on everything good. Lorenzo asks Millie how she's doing, and Millie says she's doing fantastic. Eva even apologized to her. Lorenzo asks if they are talking about the same Eva, and Millie says it's true. Lorenzo says in confessional that his mission is accomplished. Dwayne asks DJ if he's at fault for Kitty's elimination, and DJ says that he can't blame himself for it. He did that a while ago, and it drove him to nearly quitting. At the end of the day, I'm sure Kitty wouldn't trade in the time she spent with you for a million dollars. Sammy says that she was too emotional to win, caring about Millie instead of her own safety. She could have cut her hair off to win, but she decided not to. Dwayne says that's rich coming from the girl who voted her off for not being your knight in shining armor. Sammy says that she was fake, sorry to be the bearer of bad news. DJ tells them to chill out, he knows they won't get anywhere doing this, so they might as well leave each other alone. Sammy says whatever before leaving, and Dwayne thanks DJ. Justin tells Sammy that he can't believe Dwayne can't see the truth, you're so much smarter than him. Sammy tells him to get to the chase, and Justin says all business, huh? Well, I think there's a loose end you haven't tied up. Sammy says she's well aware of that loose end. Justin asks when she will take care of it, and Sammy says she will get rid of it when it's time. Now, he better stop talking to her before he gets added to the list of loose ends. Justin says in confessional that Sammy has a backbone now, but she's gonna implode because of it. Eventually, her attitude will rub the wrong person the wrong way, and she will be eliminated. He will just be a reason for it. Junk tells Taylor that he will vote Justin at tonight's vote, then, as much as he'd rather have Pete gone. Sammy asks what she's doing here, and Taylor says that last time she checked, she was a part of the Alliance too. Sammy says that the most she will do is vote with them. She has no say in the actual vote. Now scram. Jock tells her to calm down, and Sammy says that it's bad enough she was betrayed by Kitty, but now Taylor acts like we're equals after all she's done to her. Taylor says, well, excuse me, you invited me on the team, remember? Sammy says that we don't need you anymore, and Jock says no, we definitely do need her. Hold on, give us some privacy, Taylor. Taylor says whatever and leaves, and Jock says she needs to get a grip. Sammy asks how she will do that by letting everyone walk all over her again. Jock says she doesn't need to go that far, but she can at least pretend to get along with Taylor, at least until the right time comes. Sammy asks when that could possibly be, and Jock says he doesn't know, but... Sammy says he never does what she wants. Jock says that he did what she wanted last elimination, and Sammy says that was because it was what the majority was doing. Jock in confessional says that something snapped inside of Sammy, and he doesn't know what. He wishes he could help her. Chris tells them to report to the amphitheater. Once there, he tells them that today's challenge will have each contestant searching for a key to unlock their treasure chest. The plank they get will determine the hint for where their key will be. Lorenzo's challenge is to get his key from a group of sharks. Lorenzo thinks for a moment before throwing a fish in the water and he gets his key. He tells Millie that that was a piece of cake. Eva has to get her key from Chef's fridge without getting caught. Eva sees Chef and she leaves to formulate a better strategy. Millie has to get her key from a skunk's home. Lorenzo asks if she's okay, and Millie says she doesn't want to get sprayed. Lorenzo says that on his grandpa's farm, he learned how to flush them out. Pete asks Eva if she needs any help, and Eva says she can do this herself. Pete says that it's not a bad thing if she does need help. Eva says she has gone 16 years without help. What's a few more weeks? Pete says it's never too late to try some help. Hell, he may have an idea in his old brain. Eva says, oh yeah? How can I get past Chef then? 
Pete says that's tough, but maybe it's not about getting past him, but not having to get past him to begin with. Eva asks what that is supposed to mean, and Pete says that he remembers in the cooking challenge he saw an opening to the roof he could help her get down from. He will hold some rope and she can go down and get the key, then she can climb back up. Eva says it's actually not a bad plan, and they manage to get the key together. Lorenzo flushes a skunk out, and Millie tells him thank you, and Lorenzo says it was nothing before suddenly being kissed by Millie. Sammy has to jump through a ring of fire to get her key, and she says that she didn't go through 10 years of gymnastics to lose here, and gets it easily. DJ has to climb a tree to get his, yet somehow fails. Justin says no way he is swimming in sewage, even for immunity. Dwayne says sorry to disturb you bees, but I need immunity, I'm the king bee around here. He grabs the key and runs in pain as he is stung. Jock has to get his key from a bear and he says that just like Jose, they both can kill him without trying. As he is about to escape, the bear grabs him to cuddle with him. Taylor tells a snake that this is how things are gonna go. He's gonna give her his key or else she's gonna slam his head on that rock. The snake then bites Taylor and she falls. Pete has to get his key from a rock under a bridge in between two alligators. Taylor tells Justin that he needs to help her, she's gonna be eliminated and this place will be close to three times as ugly without her here. Justin says he may be able to help her, but she needs to make something happen. Justin then has Taylor forge a love letter and she places it on Millie's bed. Justin goes to Lorenzo and tells him that he needs his help, and Lorenzo says that's rich coming from him, why would he ever help him? Justin says that you're not helping me, you're helping Taylor. Lorenzo asks what does Taylor need, and Justin says he doesn't know, why don't you ask her? Lorenzo goes to Taylor and asks what's wrong, and Taylor says that it's just that Millie told me some heartbreaking news. It turns out Millie's just using you for a vote. Lorenzo says he can't believe that, I mean, he kissed her. Taylor says that it's all true, it's in her notebook. She said she doesn't view you as anything more than a friend. Lorenzo says to let him see that before groaning and saying this can't be. Taylor says that if Millie can't see how good of a man he is, at least she can, and she kisses Lorenzo. Millie sees it, and Elodie tells her that Lorenzo saw the notebook, sadly. She asked for this. In confessional, Millie says that she knew Karma would get her, but she can't believe that Karma would do something this cruel to her. Lorenzo says in confessional that he can't believe this. Millie really has been playing him this whole time. Justin asks Elodie if she will do her challenge, and she says that she only has a 1 in 11 chance of getting immunity. No thank you. Justin says that he doesn't feel as bad about not doing his challenge then. After the challenge is finished, Chris tells them that if they attain a key, they can unlock a chest. Sammy asks if she risked burning to death for chips and chocolate, and Chris nods his head. Eva unlocks her chest and obtains immunity, and she tells Pete that he was the reason she got immunity, so... thanks, I guess. Pete says anytime she needs something, just to ask. Eva says not to push it. She still likes working alone better. Jock asks why his key won't fit, and Chris says that some keys are duds. Jock says that this is unacceptable. Can he at least take care of the bear? Chris then shoots them both with tranquilizer darts. After everyone gets their treasure, Chris says that it's time to send someone off. Now go cast your votes and he will see them tonight. Taylor asks if the plan is still Justin and Jock says of course. Taylor in confessional says that she knows Jock is voting for her as well as Sammy. She isn't stupid. That's why she did what she did for Justin. Chris says, and now the moment we've all been waiting for. The moment of truth. Marshmallow time. You know the routine, whoever doesn't get a marshmallow, it's curtains for you. Eva, Sammy, Elodie, Jock, Dwayne, Pete, DJ, Justin, Lorenzo, Millie. Marshmallows for the lot of ya. Taylor says, wait, that means... Chris says, sorry dude, you're out. Taylor says this isn't right, he needs to recount the votes right now. Chris asks if they'll need to drag her out, and Taylor says that this isn't fair, they cheated. She's taken away kicking and screaming, and Justin says in confession that it was so nice of Taylor to break up Lorenzo and Millie for nothing in return. Why should he help her logically? She's just gonna be a bigger burden than it was worth. But take pride in knowing you made yourself useful on your last day, Taylor. Lorenzo asks Millie if they can talk, and Millie says that now that Taylor is gone, he can talk to his side piece now, huh? Screw you. She leaves, and Lorenzo says in confessional that he doesn't understand women. And that's that for episode 14 of Total Drama Random Island. What did you think? Question of the week. The immunity idol has been found, but who found it? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, and I'll see you all next time on Total Drama Random Island.